and K K K K K. Written by the poet Ella Wheeler Wilcox. Wish. Each and every one of us have own wish to be fulfilled. Some are simple and easy to obtain, and some are very difficult to obtain. There are even some wishes that could not be fulfilled at all. There are some who wish to be intelligent, and there are also some who wish to eat a good food at least for a session per day, or at least to honor themselves with their basic clothing, or to save themselves in a safe shelter during seasonal or climatic changes. Wishes. varies for each and every category of people when one human wishes to renovate a building temple or church the other human wishes to at least be allowed in a temple or church but in this poem we are going to learn the poet's wish who tries to explain those in three aspects of expectations one wishing for a better world second one wishing for a wiser world third one wishing for a happier world my dear guys you should be knowing that the world our present is worst or unfortunate are sad or silly this is because of accumulation of more selfish motives in every one of us and this world can be better happier and wiser only gained by our gen- generous deeds that is being other center the poet ella wheeler cox wilcox was an american author and poet born on 5th november 1850 she is best known for her poems which are written in simple english and convey optimism and cheer optimism that is her poems gives hope 
confidence or success about the future. Cheer means comfort or support or joy or praise or encouragement. That is, the poem gives the reader these two characteristics that is optimism and cheer. Some of Ella Wheeler's famous poems include Poems of Passion, Worthwhile, The Winds of Fate, The Voice of the Voiceless and Solitude. Laugh and the world laugh with you, weep and you weep alone. I repeat, laugh and the world laugh with you, weep and you weep alone. So, we should be happy to make the world happy and laugh. If we weep, no one will weep with us. We will weep alone. So, never weep. Be happy always. Ella Wheeler Wilcox Believe in Theosophy, New Thoughts and Spiritualism Theosophy is a religious established in the United States during the late 19th century. Theosophy means divine wisdom, obtained from the Greek word Theos means God and Sophia means wisdom. Our poet's autobiography, The Worlds and I, was published in 1918, a year before her death. Ella Wheeler Wilcox died on October 30, 1918. Right. Now, I am going to read the poem first stanza after another and then explain the values behind each sentence. Listen carefully guys, because this is an easy poem. If you concentrate, it would be easy for you to learn the meanings as well as questions and answers. Wishing Poem written by Ella Wheeler Wilcox Do you wish the world were better? Let me tell you what to do. Set a watch upon your actions. Keep them always straight and true. Rid your mind of selfish motives. Let your thoughts be clean and high. You can make a little Eden of the sphere you occupy. In this poem, the poem beautifully explains us all how to make our world a better place to live. In the first stanza, the poem describes that to make this world better, we should set our actions always straight and true. That is, whatever we do, it should be straightforward and must be true. We should not live a false life, behaving wrongly or cheating others. Our life should be truthful to others, always. Also, let your mind be free from selfish motives. We always think about our happiness alone, neglecting the worries and wishes of others. We neglect even the worries or wishes of our own parents and siblings. Parents are our, are our living God on this earth. They sacrifice everything for us. They live only for us good and good alone. But when we grow, we will, we will ill-treat them, hurt them by our own words and deeds and at last, this is a dreadful to say, there are some for the selfish motives who throw away their parents in the street when they grow up. These selfish deeds are actually the reasons why we don't have a better, happier, peaceful world. Wherever 
we turn around we have pollution or problems or diseases so to make a better world we should be other centered without selfish motives this is what the poet tries to explain to us in simple words not only that let our thoughts be clean and high this is what they say in tamil ulluvadellam uyar ullal that is our thoughts and aims should be high as well as pure and other centered if our thoughts are high and pure automatically we can make this earth a beautiful better happier place to live not only for humans this earth will be a better place for all living organisms i say this because while we have people neglecting and hurting their own parents on one side we also have people who hurt plants or other animals on the other side for no reason finally i say again once try to help others especially those who really suffer outside if we help those kind of people you become god in their hearts because you do the same which god have to do for them am i right yes you are god there i don't want to stop with this above all this you motivate someone else that to be to the same i mean you initiate another god or gods understood right finally the poet in the last line of this first stanza describes our earth as a sphere of the sphere you occupy which is none other than our earth that we live did you notice in your book you find a boy helping an old lady to cross the road like this we have to help others in our life अडैप बिल्डिंग सामने ही है ना अडैप अडैप स्कूल है ना बच्चे लोग का आई रिपीट डू यू विश द वर्ल्ड वेर बेटर let me tell you what to do set a watch upon your actions keep them always straight and true rid your mind of selfish motives let your thoughts be clean and high we can make a little eden of the sphere you occupy now guys let me read the next stanza listen carefully You might also get some ideas when I read the poem. How in your mind those ideas and compare with what I explain. If you feel more ideas also add those in the comment box also. Do you wish the world were wiser? Well, suppose you make a start by accumulating wisdom in the scrapbook of your heart do not waste one page on folly live to learn and learn to live if you want to give men knowledge you must get it or you give the second stanza describes that if you want this world to be wiser then wait for no one to initiate that i mean you have to start that motivate by yourself to make this earth wiser yes my dear boys first we must be wiser to make this world yet wiser that is you have to learn many aspects of life and gather more experience to be wiser both theoretically and practically 
unless you are wiser you can't create a wiser world am i right boys by accumulating wisdom accumulating means collection or gathering or increasing so the poet requests us to increase our knowledge that is wisdom without wasting any on our foolishness folly means foolishness we are to live for learning many are all all as well as learn to live this means a lot first point we are human being who can alone learn no the creatures in this earth learns so we must live to learn second as we are the only creatures on this earth who learn we must be learning something always in our life till our death this is the meaning of live to learn third this live to learn concept implies not only to literates but also for all illiterates one who is able to read and write are known as literates and those who can't do this are known as illiterates there are students of your level who can't read and write properly at the same time there are some who knows understands writes and reads many languages and concepts without going to school anyhow live to learn then learn to live this also gives many deep values basically it is not easy to survive in the selfish world with a generous heart i know some of my close friends who took many steps to help others but finally got only bad names from those who received help this is our present act therefore what i say is we have to learn to live in this dangerous air to survive as well as create many wiser people with altruistic motives that is without selfishness do you understand and finally one last time just listen guys carefully you must be intelligent or wiser before you give that to someone or before you create someone wiser or before you make the world wiser only wiser men can create wiser environment a foolish fellow will create only foolish community or foolish earth crystal clear i repeat do you wish the world were wiser well suppose you make a start by accumulating wisdom in the scrapbook of your heart do not waste one page on folly live to learn and learn to live if you want to give men knowledge you must get it where you give now i am going to read the third and last stanza of this poem as i informed before the poem is very easy to read understand as well as study concentrate well till the end do you wish the world were happy then remember day by day just to scatter skates of kindness as you pass along the way for the pleasures of many may be of times taste to one as a hand that plants an an acorn shelters armies from the sun in the first stanza the poet describes or explains us how to make a better world in the second stanza the poet describes or explains us how to make a wiser world and in the third stanza the poet guides us all to make our world a happy a peaceful place to live as i informed before in the beginning of the today's class our present air is accumulated with full of unwanted rubbish evil stuff i mean full of sorrows dangers diseases pollutions etc so it is very difficult to live a happy life 
here amidst all these miseries. But all can be broken down into a happier circumstances by your own kind heart. The world needs kind hearts to make it a happier one. So the poet wants us all to scatter the seeds of kindness in this year so that we need the same kindness propagated from others. This sowing of kindness is described in the picture as a man helping a stray dog with some food. So this kindness need not to be sown in the hearts of another human but must be cultivated in all the creations of this world in all sort of living organisms of this world. Have you sown such kindness in the world in any creature? I am damn sure that you surely would have reaped the happiest moment from where you have sown. This is what the poet explains with an account say. The account that you plant somewhere will one day grow into a tall oak tree which gives shelter to an army from the sun. Here, army does not exactly denotes an army, but a group of people, a small account say, or a plant grows into a large tree, which can shelter many people. This is what the poet tries to explain or express here. So, ultimately, it needs not a corn, but any seed or plant that you cultivate will surely grow into a plant with numerous multi-usage. By this age, you all would be knowing that we get, up, we get many types of pro products from a tree, which includes food, medicine, timber and other useful products. So plant a tree. Further, if you could not plant a tree, spread kindness in other forms which you feel as convenient. I repeat, do you wish the world were happy? Then remember day by day, just to scatter seeds of kindness as you pass along the way. For the pleasures of many may be of times traced to one. As a hand that plants an acorn shelters armies from the sun. Okay guys, good. I hope you all understand this poem. I have tried my level best to make it simple with very diversified hidden values exposed. It is your prime duty to have all these priceless values in your heart and follow in your life to make our world, to make our earth a better, wiser and happier place to live. All the best. Today's assignment. Write in few sentences about your ambition in life. Also, write what you are about to do to the society by attaining that goal or ambition. Thank you. My wishes in advance for your online test. Second midterm test and your bright and colorful future. God bless you all. Thank you. God bless you.